Here we go, the moment we've all been waiting for, Newton's Law. Simply titled, keep that same energy from the players as well as the reporters, analysts. I mean, where do I start? Just go to the clip, just, just, just go to the clip where he says what he said. Cast. Chad Johnson, you got one, and now Cam Newton has a podcast. And Cam Newton, of course, was a tremendous player. Every, anytime I kind of- Don't give me no backhand compliments. Don't do, don't, don't no, do that. Don't say, yeah. Don't do that. Because th this is how we get to this point. I'm not playing. Haven't played in two or three years. So people know who I am, mm -hmm. right? Let's speak on what I spoke about. The, the gist of his conversation was that Dak had a better career than Cam subjective and highly opinionated and my quarrel is not with Dak. my quarrel is with jason mcintyre and other analysts that speak in ways to make them feel that they're more suitable to talk about something than a person who actually did it the clip goes on to say don't alarm anyone i'm gonna say it in a whisper but cam newton you had a worse career than Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has had a better NFL career than Cam Newton. And we got a great staff here at the Herd. They were able to pull up some stats. Let's just so take a glance. Pause right there. What this stat doesn't say, I was a dual threat quarterback. This is a very subjective statistic. Add in pass attempts. Add in rushing yards. Rushing touchdowns. Add in rushing touchdowns. Because who's number one as a quarterback? Nah, nah, nah. See, th see, this is where they try to manipulate the narrative. And instead of speaking about what I said as a analysis or from the analytical approach, they try to poke at the person. So now, Jason, if I were to do my research on you personally, whether failed situations, got fired from a job, flunked out of college, never made a basketball. If I really were to do that, then I will be evil. Mm -hmm. You're picking on him. I'm picking on him. You're the bully. I'm the bully. Or they love to this one. They love this one. I'm bitter. Mm -hmm. So as you make your point, cool, but add in all elements of football. If you're trying to... Uh, uh, give an analytical approach in comparing the way Lamar Jackson plays the game and Patrick Mahomes play the game. Of course, Patrick Mahomes is going to have more passing yards because they passed the ball more. But if you were to flip it and say, who has more rushing yards? Oh, but that quarterback can't run. You know, like, come on now. Don't do that. Who's responsible for more scores? Come on. Because <laughs> whether you throw it there or run it there, how many points you still going to get? Six. Hello. And it's about scoring. Scoring. That's the name of the game. Get to the final rectangle on the field. How many, well, just even with those, how many years did Dak get to the Super Bowl? Ah, we're not going to talk about, this is not it's about, not about Dak. Dak. It's about the Let's analysts. not make this about Dak. My issue is with the people who feel that they can speak about this. Mm -hmm. Then it's not, it's not a f suitable tagline, and I was tagged on Twitter or X or Instagram and things like that. People love to pull up this statistic. But anybody who knows how I played the game, it was a dual threat. Mm -hmm. Dual meaning I can attack you throwing the ball and running the ball. Put up those statistics and I, let's, let's still compare that. Than Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has had a better NFL career than Cam Newton. And Press we got a great pause. Staff here. Like right there. You got to stop that, bro. Like, stop that. Let's not get personal. My whole thing is this. Newton's law is all about keeping that same energy. And the main reason why I started this platform was to be able to hold people accountable. Other clips from Paul Feinbaum as well and his statement about Michigan and Coach Harbaugh and what he was not able to do or what he's willing to bet. Ah, Stephen A. Smith. It's the same situation. When you go in, you make a bold statement to say the Houston Texans have zero chance to beat the Cleveland Browns. 
Why can we not hold him accountable to that same thing? That's true. And I, look, this ain't no attack at Stephen A. No. I fuck with Stephen A. But Stephen A, come on, bro, making these bold, outlandish statements. I would cut Jameis Winston. I don't know what it's like to be in that locker room. The unity, the harmony, going through the emotions of a whole season. That's why Jameis did what he did. It's bigger than just sports. It's, man, you're building lifelong relationships with these men and sometimes women. Yeah. So we have everybody speaking on a term that it's still, at the end of the day, subjective. What's your merit? What are you getting at? Yeah, what qualifies these people to what speak What qualifies on? these people to speak on this? So it's easy, and you're probably watching this saying like, oh man, Cam want his get back. No, I don't want my get back. I want everybody to get back who can't talk about this sport. Just because, oh, I've covered sports for so many different years. Motherfucker, you wasn't in that buff, and you wasn't in the trenches preparing. And you can have all what you want to say about the New York Knicks. You can say what all you want to say about the Carolina Panthers. You can say all what you say about Dallas Cowboys. But until you had to prepare like Tua Tonga Valoa, until you had to prepare like LeBron James, until you had to prepare like Patrick Mahomes and play in front of 60, 70, 80, 90,000, then how the hell can you really talk about him in that, in that type of degree? And we do have the clip. And it wasn't just Stephen A. It was on the Pat McAfee show. The person spoke to C.J. Stroud and, and kind of talked about uh, their chances of uh, them winning. Play the clip. C.J. Titus mentioned you don't listen to what the media says, and I assume the team doesn't. But just so you know, you do know. Right now, the biggest threat to the Ravens is Joe Flacco and the Browns. So just so oh you yeah, know, Stephen A. said you guys have no chance. Browns, no no chance. No, I'm not a Browns fan, uh, but I'm just telling you. Oh, we have no media. chance. Yeah, right. Stephen A. Right. said a rookie yeah. quarterback yeah. No way. is not going to do anything in the playoffs. That's not happening. Cheat. Mm. And what was the what was the final score? <clears throat> a lot uh, to, to a little. little bit. A lot to a little. The greatest threat to the Baltimore Ravens is Joe Flacco. Shows how much you know, guy. So, like, these sports analysts, bro, y'all getting out of hand. And it's time for us all to be held accountable. Yeah. And I'm not saying that y'all can't hold me accountable because we've seen that that to be the case. Man, Every time crazy. Cam says something crazy, I'm going to see it on ESPN Fox. Oh, of course Cam's not. I mean, he can't be naive to this. Like, yeah. no, motherfucker. Y'all scared to say what y'all supposed to say. But the crazy thing is, this is just my, my, my opinion. When you say something crazy about another player, they gonna run that. Mm -hmm. You point at them, mm -mm. you don't never see that. Hell they don't no. never gonna re they ain't gonna retweet that Hell one. No. They're not. <laughs> They're not. And we need to start exposing yeah. these so-called leaders of information yeah. in sports.